All right, so we're going to go back and look at the word Elohim again because it's important in the context of some verses we're about to look at that are very big Trinitarian proof text. So if you want to look the word Elohim up for yourself, it's H430. So I'm just going to read a little bit of it, not the whole definition. Plural of H433. God's in the ordinary sense, but specifically used in the plural thus, especially with the article of the Supreme God, occasionally applied by way of deference to magistrates. And so under, I, I have all the uses from the Strong's. And so the majority of it is was translated to King James as God, but it'll be Elohim and other versions. Then you see judges, that's four, mighty two, angels one, judge one. So you have other, other ways that this word is translated. And even one of those, which I think we brought up in part two, was where Moses in Exodus 4 is called is referred to as Elohim, and it's this word. So we, ha we have to keep that in mind when looking at some of the verses we're going to look at. I always say if you if you say that Elohim equals Yahweh every single time, then please go and, and look it up when it's being used for the judges of Israel. Are you saying all the judges of Israel are Yahweh, Elohim? Because you got no. more than three person Godhead at that point. Um, angels, right? Are we going to say every angel in heaven now that's considered a mighty one, Elohim is now Yahweh? Uh, I think you, you start to have issues when you start to say Elohim equals Yahweh every time. Again, that's modern Christianity thinking. Um, if you ask, if you could time travel, right, and go back to the first century and ask a Jew, Elohim, uh, how many is Elohim? He'll say, uh, mighty ones, are you talking about the most high Elohim, our creator? Are you talking about the, you know, adversary Elohim, the Satan of this, the, the adversary of this world, Satan, that mighty one. I mean, Elohim was a broad term used for angels, judges, Satan, uh, idols, uh, false gods, and then also the most high. And that goes back to what? Well, how do we know when is it used for the most high? What did, what did Matthew tell us? Exegesis, right? Figuring out for every time that Elohim is used, what is, how is it used in context? 